But, darling, you're kind about everyone. You can't be trusted. Hello, congratulations on this incredibly complicated woman. Oh, uh, thank uh, you. What kind of um, sources did you look for for inspiration? She's snatches of women who've uh, intimidated me through my life, I think. You know, it's a sort of little bit of, uh, you know, quite therapeutic to get, uh, to get all this into one character. It's that p peculiar way in which um, English people can sort of damn you with a compliment, you know, by saying, oh, clever, clever you, or, oh, how sweet, you know, and it's, it, you think, oh, what have I done wrong? And you don't know, but uh, it's a very English thing. So I, I really enjoyed having fun with that um, on the other side. Uh, I love her self-delusion, her self-deception, the idea that she thinks she sort of was the queen of Britpop when she probably, you know, met one of the singers, one of, you know, Damon Alban once from Blur or something. Um, uh, I just, she just, she was just so fun to play because she's this very unusual matriarch who's completely uninterested in her own children and, and just longing for a kind of stranger to come in to distract her. Uh, from having to pay attention to her own family. How important was uh, the setting and the clothing? Very important. It was, it was everything, really. And Emerald was wonderfully specific about the clothing. She knew exactly how she wanted Elspeth to look. We sort of based her in, in, in looks only, uh, you know, vibe. Uh, you know, it was Sienna Miller in her heyday of kind of making everybody want to dress like her. So we thought Elspeth would definitely be sort of in that camp of the sort of bohemian aristocratic, um, you know, able to completely outdress everybody and underdress, you know, in, in the kind of way that just defies the rules and you never know which way, w what you should be doing <laughs> when you're well, in her presence. Being at a dinner table with all of that conversation and eating, so any insight into capturing those scenes? I don't think Elspeth eats very much, you know, I think she might do her eating sort of afterwards, late at night in the kitchen, you know, so that she can be sparkling at dinner, um, drink a bit of wine. But, um, uh, you know, how these women plan these sort of three course dinners and stay slim. And I mean, I, I don't know what I don't know what they do. Um, I mean, the only time she really does sort of eat is when she's eating the shepherd's pie in that very kind of crucial scene, which is, you know, shepherd's pie is so representative of English nurse, English sort of nursery food, things that children grow up on, that kind of stodge, which you'll find so many people in England, even if it's not very nice, feel a tremendous kind of comfort from, <laughs> because it's somehow connected with nourishment of, of sort of, of the soul in some way they don't fully understand. Your dinner scenes were, were fun. And actually in, in practice, we had so many vegetarians and vegans on the set that I think every bit of seafood on set was actually made of tofu, which is, which is also really creepy in its own way. You take a prawn and it, it's a sort of insipid sort of mold of tofu. <laughs>